the first thing we want to do before we have anyone measure vital signs is calibrate the blood pressure cuff. If the blood pressure cuff is not calibrated properly, there's a good chance that blood pressure readings will not be in agreement with the ones you program into the machine. Let me show you how to calibrate the cuff and I'll explain. Go to your menu button, you press menu and then on the screen you use the down arrows to scroll down to where it says calibrate BP and you just leave it there and you can see that on the right hand side of the screen it says to, cal cal to calibrate BP cuff inflate cuff to 100 millimeters of mercury then press calibrate the calibrate buttons in the bottom right hand corner we're not going to press that yet because we haven't inflated the BP cuff yet let's go do that so again, the handheld device has told us to inflate the cuff to 100 and then press calibrate. So I'm going to do something that you nurses have done a million times and I'm going to inflate the cuff. Again, remembering that I'm only using the cuff that the machine came with. And there we are at 100. So coming back now to our handheld device, I press the calibrate button right here. And the machine says calibrated at 99 millimeters of mercury. What does that mean? That means that although I'm looking at the cuff thinking it was 100, I actually was a little bit down. If you look closely, you can see, well, it's very obvious, I'm below 100. So the, 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 um, the cuff slipped a bit while we were talking. Let's try it again and see what the machine thinks. Give it a little more air. That's pretty close to 100 right there. Let's see if it's happy with this. Again, coming back to the calibrate button. Press that. and it says calibrated at 100 millimeters of mercury. Now we've calibrated the BP cuff and we're ready to use the vital sims.